is Missy Crawfighter, and I'm a hydraulic engineer with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Detroit District. Growing up in Michigan, I loved spending my time outdoors. I loved going to the water, to any of the lakes, whether it was an inland lake, Lake St. Clair, or one of the five Great Lakes. And I loved to go swimming, I was fishing, I was boating. I was pretty much spending all my time out on the water, even in the wintertime. We would go ice fishing, we'd go out there and we would take in all the wonder that is around us. So when it came time to choose a career, I always had a passion to be outside and I've always been drawn to water. So I decided to study to become a civil engineer with the focus in water resources. So as a hydraulic engineer, which is really a fancy word, you know, for water and how it moves and how much we have, my job pretty much boils down to what we learned in third and fourth grade earth science and that's the water cycle. So in my position, what we do is we gather all the data that impacts water levels across the Great Lakes so that we can understand them and make predictions for what the water levels are gonna be. So back in third and fourth grade earth science, we learned about the four seasons and how in the wintertime you get snowfall that accumulates on the ground. Then all of a sudden in the spring, Temperatures start to get warm and it rains, that snow melt runs off, rainfall occurs, and it goes into our streams and our rivers and finally into the Great Lakes. And that affects the water levels in the summer when they're a little higher, where I would usually spend as much time as I could swimming and hanging out at the beach. And if we were lucky, we'd catch a pretty nice sunset off of Lake Michigan. The other part of my job that is really interesting is growing up in Michigan, I would always look out across either the St. Clair River, the Detroit River, or Lake St. Clair. And there was that other country over there, Canada. And I always thought of the river or the lake as a divide. But in my position now, I understand that the Great Lakes are a huge resource to the entire region. And I get to work with Canada so that we can coordinate all of our data and information for all of the users across the Great Lakes from way up in Lake Superior, where we have, you know, Minis Duluth, Minnesota, all the way down through the locks into Lake Michigan, Huron, Lake St. Clair, down to Lake Erie, Ontario, and then out to the St. Lawrence Seaway. We are connected on a much bigger level. And I really like being a part of something that was important to me growing up and is important to the bigger, the bigger good.